Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome to NHL 18. And this is a new, fresh series and a different look on some goalie tips, some of which are going to be new. Now, I wanted to do this because we've been doing the same videos for year in and year out. It's getting redundant, all right? We've got to switch it up, keep things fresh. The series is going to be focused on beginners. You know, anyone can watch it. Anyone can learn from it. No one's above each other here. But it's going to be aimed at beginners. It's going to be things like this video, like when do you use the butterfly now? A lot of you guys know that, but a lot of you guys could use a refresher too. It's going to be like when to use the right stick, when to use desperation save. Some things we never even heard of and talked about yet. We're going to talk about in this series, so I'm excited for it, okay? So let's get right into that. When do you use the butterfly? It's very situational, okay? But the only 100% I'm in butterfly time, basically, is when the puck is in the trapezoid behind the net because of wraparounds. You want to be in butterfly when the puck's in that trapezoid so you can quickly latch onto the post in the reverse VH and make those wraparound saves. The reverse VH is the best way to move freely from post to post when the puck's getting worked back there, too. So, keep that in mind. 100% of the time, puck in the trapezoid, get in your butterfly. The next time is on point shots. Now, don't drop to butterfly when the puck goes to the point, okay? When you see a guy wind up for a slap shot, then you drop down to butterfly, okay? And it's going to be beneficial for deflections, screens, and rebounds, okay? Because once that shot comes, 99% of the time, it's either going to be a deflection or a rebound from the point. No one really shoots high anymore. Now, they do, but it's not, you're still going to save it. It's fine. But when he winds up for that slap shot, start hitting butterfly to get down there. Now, sometimes... The skater's not going to wind up for a slap shot, and he's going to cut to the middle, and he's just going to throw a light wrister on that and hope for a deflection. He's probably going to shoot it back across the grain, too, which is very frustrating. So what do you do here? You can't just butterfly slide into the shot because you're 100% going to get beat there. So when you see a D-man cut to the middle like that, stay centered in your crease, okay? Don't move. Just stay centered until he gets like... He's not going to get that far, right? If he cuts to the middle... Stay center because he's looking to cross grain snipe you or cross grain wrist you and get it deflected, okay? So stay still, and then when he takes that shot, you can either drop the butterfly or you can stay standing. You know, this is going to be a tough one regardless if he gets it off. The next time, this is something a lot of good goalies do, and it's very, very hard to like train yourself to do it. Any shot that's taken, they take, they hold butterfly, okay? It's not a save button. But they do it because they know if it's a high shot, their goalie's probably going to glove it. Or if it's on their blocker side, they're getting ready to move into a rebound. Or if it's low, of course, they're there for a rebound. Because to, to save rebounds, you have to be down in your butterfly first. Okay? When the shot comes, if you're on the right side of your crease and the shot is shot left at your left pad, you're going to kick it into the slot, Okay? So it's okay to hit butterfly and try and anticipate that rebound after the shot hits your pad. Um, but a lot of goalies, just any shot at all, do it. Because they're not afraid to get beat high. You're not going to get beat high. They're not doing it in anticipation of the shot. They're doing it after the shot's taken. So their goalie doesn't have time to actually drop. So be careful with that one. Make sure you're not doing it before the shot comes or else you're going to be stuck in your position. You can't move and you're going to get... Uh, you're going to get hit with the one-timer. It's going to be an easy goal, all right? But after that shot's taken, then it's okay to hit butterfly for the rebound. And lastly, I don't do this. When a guy comes in close, okay, when a guy comes in close, some goalies will hit butterfly. I don't do that. I stay standing because I feel like a lot of the times they're either going to try that uh, sharp angle shot, which I like to be standing for just inside the post, or they're going to pass it, in which case I like to be able to move freely. Now, some goalies drop the butterfly regardless. And that's okay if you're good at it. But for you new guys, I suggest when the puck comes in tight, you just stay standing. Um, there are a lot of nice save animations down in Butterfly. Okay? There's a lot you can unlock, but you really have to be sure that you're not going to get two passes after the fact when you drop, or else you're done. Uh, but some goalies are really good at reading it, and they can get these nice blocker save animations. But again, it's very hard to control your movement, so I suggest stay standing. But I'm just throwing it out there. Lots of nice animations come out of the butterfly. And that's it for this video, guys. That's all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy this new series we're going to be cooking up here, all right? So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.